1440 futsal containers from Global Fund were released to the Ministry of Health on April 12th from the refair terminal at the Temaport. The contents are made up of HIV medications, malaria medications, malaria rapid test kits, bed nets, among others. Representing the Finance Minister, Director of Revenue Policy Division at the Ministry of Finance, George Winfield, noted steps are being taken to ensure that such delays do not recur. Special provision of 40 million Ghana cities was made by the Ministry of Finance to cover transnational taxes, that is, AU and ECOWAS levies. Going forward, to ensure that such an incident does not recur, an intergovernmental committee is being set up comprising of representatives from Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Health, Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority, and Ghana Revenue Authority. The committee will work together to address such matters should they come up, to ensure their swift resolution. The Ghana Revenue Authority has urged ministries, departments, and government agencies to collaborate with the authority in order to take advantage of the exemption law to clear goods that are eligible per the law. Representing the Commissioner General, Deputy Commissioner Operations at the Customs Division of the GRA, Emmanuel Ohene emphasized the need for more education. On behalf of the Commissioner General, may I use this opportunity to urge all ministries, departments and government agencies to collaborate with the GRA and take advantage of the new exemption law to clear goods that are eligible under the law. This will help in avoiding charges, penalties and demurrage at the port. Chief Director at the Ministry of Health, Alhaji Hafiz Adams, debunked reports that Global Fund have decided to stop supplying medications and other health products to Ghana. We have about 168 more containers left to be cleared at an estimated cost of approximately 70 million Ghana seeds. We pray and hope that the Minister of Finance and its agencies, as well as the general public, will continue support our ministry as the Minister of Health in delivering on its mandate.